Hello guys and welcome to a different Russia channel. <laughs> Alex is very busy. <laughs> Luckily guys, we have um, a very warm week. Uh, last week we had snow and minus three, minus four. A lot of snow really. And honestly speaking, I was very disappointed because um, we did not have time to come to Dutch and uh, to prepare for winter. Uh, we had to plant onions and garlic and to put benches in the barn. So a lot of things to do before uh, winter. Uh, but maybe we were lazy, maybe uh, so just short of time. So, but we did nothing. <laughs> and thanks to God, the weather has improved and one warm week is ahead. At the moment, guys, it's plus 14. You won't believe. You can see Alex is in not a very warm jacket. <laughs> yeah, very warm these days. And besides, it is sunny, so the weather is gorgeous to spend a few days at Dachy. So Wonderful, Fantastic. yeah. <laughs> so now I will go to the pond. Alex will continue to walk here. And then when I come back from the pond, I will go to film for you just a little bit. We'll tell you the latest news of our Dutch community and then I will join Alex. Do not think that I'm lazy. I also help. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Yeah. Can you useless? <laughs> Alex you says, are not useless. Alex says I'm not useless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I help <laughs> a little bit. We are guys at our Dutch pond. That is fire pond. We come here from time to time with Shafi, he swims here. And also here some ducks. Very fat they are because people give them a lot of food. And ducks these days are rather fat. So what about the local news in our Dutch community? I you know, uh, when the pandemic started a few years ago, uh, many people moved to their duchess. Duchess, that is, let it be the village house or the house in the countryside. Uh, there is a different status of land, but uh, uh, a very simple explanation, that is a village house. So, and when pandemic started in 2019, uh, people moved to Dutchess. Those people who had good houses, uh, they lived here constantly and uh, they had not very difficult pandemic <laughs> period because uh, if people had no duchess, if they could not go anywhere, they had to sit in the apartment almost constantly. And it was very, very difficult. We had QR codes and uh, we could not go anywhere but to the shop, to the nearest shop. So everything was very, very sad. And many people moved to their duchess and started to live here constantly. And it means they improved their houses. Uh, and those people who had not very good houses, um, the idea of making uh, better houses came into their heads, into their minds. And now we have a lot of rather good, many storied, I have to say, <laughs> many storied uh, houses. For example, you can see over there the three-storied brick house, that, that one in the distance, the yellow one. And uh, people started to live at Dutch constantly and the problem started because now we do not have enough electricity the electricity cable is not very powerful and some time ago the problem started because the majority of people who live here all year round they heat houses with electricity with electric heaters and that is the big problem guys for our electricity lines they are not very powerful and uh, a lot of people here had problems with electricity for several days. Uh, in winter, 
two years ago uh, the electricity cable broke at our Dutch community and all the community had no electricity during if I'm not mistaken seven days approximately like that and a lot of people uh, moved back to their apartments or they went to their relatives for this period some people rented um, hotel rooms and hostels so that was not a very nice situation especially in winter when it is minus 20 outside and you have nowhere to go so uh, some people of course heat with wood but not very many people but the majority of people heat with electricity uh, it is not very cheap but in general it is affordable at the moment it is still affordable and about two or three weeks ago the members of our Dutch community started to think about gas and now we have very big quarrels I should say even battles <laughs> online battles the duck came <laughs> to say hello you see very very fat she or he i don't know definitely has prepared for winter i'm not alone here some fishermen here and over there some people who are drinking alcohol that is why guys I was against uh, of making the rest area here or rest zone so uh, the, the management of our Dutch community spent a big sum of money on this and in summertime here in the evening were people who drank alcohol made loud noises <laughs> produced sounds and now you can see though it is autumn already not very hot but still people come and drink alcohol but at least this one's rather silent in general i have to say this place looks rather good even in such horrible weather when no leaves not very much greenery around but in general rather nice place I'm not sure whether you hear the road because road is rather close to our Dutch community and the road produces loud noises so I hear very well but I'm not sure that the camera catches the sound in general you do not have the feeling that you are in the middle of nowhere and silence around you know uh, but well that is much better than in the city but still you're not alone and some city noises are also here ну чё как успех никого не поймал давай удачи друг получится So guys let's leave the area near the pond and we'll go along one of the streets in our Dutch community that is Rosewe Street Rose Street <laughs> we have very lovely names of streets Rose Street Flower Street you will have a look at it and we'll get the general idea of our Dutch community but I have to say that it is a rather typical Dutch community a lot of such communities in Moscow region so about gas at the moment guys we have very big discussions 
in our Dutch community chat in WhatsApp. And people are quarreling. Those people who have not very expensive Dutches, like this one, for example, or like that one, the brown one, uh, they are, of course, against gas. Because if you want to bring gas to your building, to your property, first of all, you should have money. It is very expensive, I have to say, about 1 million rubles uh, you must pay to bring gas to your building. And also, the building where you bring gas should be registered. Uh, because if the building is not registered, you cannot bring gas to the building. And the majority of buildings at our Dutch community are not registered. Uh, so some people do not want to pay taxes, some people are just lazy, and besides, some time ago it wasn't very necessary. Uh, so now we have the law, it is called Dutch Amnistia, and up to, if I'm not mistaken, 2030, every Dutch owner should register the building. So, but people are not very eager to register them. Yeah, Kitty. <laughs> Kitty is here. <laughs> Rather fat. Rather fat Kitty. <laughs> uh, so, people are not very eager to register uh, the buildings. Uh, they do not want to pay for, uh, for this because uh, it is not free to register the building. Cadastrovy engineer. So the engineer who draws the plan takes money for his work. And at the moment that is about 15,000 rubles, 20,000 rubles, so it depends. Let it be 15,000 rubles, the average size. About $150 for the work of that engineer. Uh, he prepares the documents, and with those documents you go to some organization and they register your uh, building. And then if your building is more than uh, 50 square meters, you must pay taxes every year. Uh, that is why many people do not register buildings. Some time ago that wasn't obligatory, and now uh, we have to register, if I'm not mistaken, up to 2030. Here it is called Dutch Neamnistia, and uh, up to 2030 they give uh, time for people to register the buildings. So, so about gas. Gas is very expensive, as I have told you, about 1 million, and uh, the building must be registered. And besides, the building should be of some special size. Uh, so the room where you put gas equipment must be rather big, so there are several uh, rules about uh, the place where you put gas equipment. And of course the majority of people, they simply do not want uh, to do it, to pay for gas. And I think everything will be clear at the annual meeting. In winter, once a year, we have community meeting, and there people will have to say yes or no, whether they are for bringing gas or against. Uh, if uh, gas project is accepted, uh, every Dutch owner, here we have about 400 Dutchess in our Dutch community, every Dutch owner will have to pay uh, his part. If uh, the majority of people, Dutch owners, if the majority of Dutch owners are against gas, then those people who want to bring gas to their houses, uh, they will have to divide the whole sum of money between them. At the moment, about 50 uh, members want gas, and 350 are against. As for us, we are also against gas. 
because for us it is not profitable. Uh, first of all, <laughs> our house is not registered. Uh, also, we do not have enough space uh, inside the house to put gas equipment. And besides, if to divide 1 million rubles uh, on the price of electricity, so uh, we can heat our Dutch house with electricity during uh, 25 or 30 years. So, for us that is definitely not profitable at the moment. That is why we are also do not want uh, to bring guests to our Dutch community. That's how it looks at the moment. The roads are not in good condition, as you can see, uh, but not as bad as it could be. They repaired just a little bit, but definitely not enough. Let's go back to Alex and we'll help him to plant garlic and onion because at the moment Alex is busy with the soil. He's digging the soil. Открывай медведь! Лиса пришла. Who is it? Hello. Who is it? You would like to help a little bit. So guys, the sun is going down, soon will be rather dark, uh, we have to hurry. Alex has prepared the soil, now I will plant just a little bit of onions my mom gave to me, this ones, and garlic also, just a little bit. Uh, we grow onions for greenery, uh, not for onion heads, just to eat green leaves in spring. That is why we plant just a little bit. That is very sad strawberry. <laughs> Hope strawberry can survive. Mm -hmm. 